you your worst enemy. You the reason you broke. You the reason you can't get along with your mama. You the reason don't nobody in the family want to help you, motherfucker. And you hollering about fuck everybody because your attitude too motherfucking bad. That's all I want to tell you. Yeah, nigga, now go look in the mirror. But this is what I want to say on a serious note. This is what I want to say on a serious note. Yeah, this is what I want to say on the series. I got I to gotta process this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sad. Uh, I'm trying to see how I'm going to say this. I got a message. Uh. Man, I got a message last night, right, from Chicago. I got a message from the killers. I got a message from the killers. Room full of niggas. I got a message from some killers last night from Chicago. A room full of killers. They were saying, man, we love you, nigga. We fucking with you. Nigga, we love you, nigga. And so they made some calls to Philly. Them Chicago niggas made some calls to Philly. Say, man, we love that shit. So the Philly niggas called back. Say, homie, we fucking with you, right? So I get embraced by the Chicago niggas. And then I got a message uh, that brought tears to my eyes. I was, I was around a bunch of people, right? I was around a bunch of people. I was around a bunch of people when I got this message. So I had to get up and go in the bathroom because I ain't want nobody to see no tears coming out my eye. Yeah, I ain't want nobody to see no tears coming out my eye. Uh, I got a message from Tuka's mother. I got a message from FBG Duck's mother. Uh, and man, this is why I do this. Yeah, this is why I wake up and do what I do, man. For that message that mother sent me last night. Uh, thank you, ma'am, uh, for letting me know uh, my words touched you guys. Uh, I've never heard a Tuka song. Uh, I've never heard a FBG Duck song. I've never heard the lyrics. Uh, but to get something from their mother, to get something from both of their mothers, and to say they said thank you. Uh, nah, homie, did man, nah, nigga, that's say, homie, uh, it ain't a Rolex in the world. Can do with what this mother done for me. Nigga, if I die today, what these, what this, what these two mothers sent me, I done live life. From what these mothers sent me, man, they brought tears to my eyes. So I went into the bathroom, nigga with tears in my eyes, and I called Sean Cotton with Say Cheese TV, nigga, with tears in my eyes. With tears in my eyes, my nigga. To tell that nigga, thank him uh, for giving me a platform, homie, to try to bring healing to our people. Not to the niggas in the streets, to their mothers, to their little brothers, their little sisters that's left behind with the pain. Man, when we out doing foolish shit, most of our mothers are not in agreement with that shit. And 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 and, and I'm just gonna say Miss Duck. 
I'm going to say Miss Duck. Miss Duck made it very well aware that she didn't like what her son was doing. She made it very, she made it very clear. None of our mothers, nigga, like what we do. They don't condone the shit that we do. Nigga, they praying for better. They praying for better. They want better. But because we they baby, they go ride with us, whether we right or wrong. When that white boy get us, guess what? Nigga, mama riding with us, whether we right or wrong. So for us as a black race, not to be able to connect to that mother's pain, and we all have mothers, not just we all have mothers, we all have black mothers. So to see a black mother bring her pain to the hip hop culture, bring her pain to the, and nigga, she's disregarded. No, nah, homie, so uh, I had no idea that my words would travel and, and, and have the weight and have the weight that it's had throughout this country. I had no idea, homie, I couldn't have planned that. You can't predict that, right? I'm just speaking the truth. I'm speaking in a good spirit from a place of passion. Uh, so, now, man, uh, this why I do this, Nick. The reward, this mother's words will forever be in this heart, Nick. Those two mothers' pain. I forever carry with me. Now I feel connected. And I've never heard their son's lyrics. This morning I woke up and I watched the uh the YouTube documentary on, on Tuka. Uh, I watched the, 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 the Vlad interview uh with the young brother Duck. God bless their souls. Uh same with the others on the other side. God bless their souls. Uh because at the end of the day, homie. That's a mother's pain. And we as a black community, we go spit in the face of our mother's pain. And then when the white boy do something to her, we telling them, man, but he just, man, how, how can we say that? So uh, I wanted to publicly uh, tell those two mothers, uh, Thank you guys for being the mothers that you are. Uh, you get salt thrown on your wounds. Y'all hadn't had a chance to heal. You hadn't had a chance to really properly grieve because the world is disrespecting your babies. And nobody in the black community, you don't know radios. Uh, man, we were supposed to ban those songs. But we embrace that shit. And then we want to cry when the white boy do something to us. So to receive that message last night, uh, nah, man, y'all touch me. It pierced my soul. It, 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 it comforts my spirit, right? And it gives me fuel. It gives me the energy. It gives me the motivation uh, to keep doing this. Yeah. It, 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 because of you two, uh, God hears a mother's cry. God hears a mother's cry. Uh, see, y'all on this internet shit, homie. On the internet. And I do this shit in real life. In real life. So when these mothers... Send this kind of shit to me, homie. One of the greatest problems going on in the black community right now, man. Too many households ain't got no love, ain't got mud in them in it, ain't got mama in them in it, man. Say, I once read somewhere, man, I was sitting down in the lobby every one time trying to get me a college degree at the community college. And I read in the book that one of the greatest problems that's plaguing America, man, is fatherless homes. And then I turned around, man, and I looked.